Hi, I'm Wayne Allen Root for Root for America. I wrote a book called Angry White Male. It had nothing to do with race. It was simply my personal testimony. I can't speak for anyone else, but I'm an SOB, son of a butcher. I was raised as a white middle-class kid in the greatest country in world history, and I was taught by my wonderful, true, red, white, and blue, patriotic, salt-of-the-earth American parents that certain specific things made America great. Here they are, faith in God, prayer, love of country, family, a belief in American exceptionalism, capitalism, Judeo-Christian values, constitution, limited government, personal responsibility, economic freedom, the military, and the police. What a list. I love them all. Well, don't look now, but everything from that list above, everything that we believe in, everything that made America great, has been under full-scale assault for eight long years from multiple directions. And Hillary is here to finish the job. She already publicly stated she wants to be Obama's third term. So, we have only a few days left before it's all over. The truth is we either send a strong message heard around the world and elect Trump, or the America we know and love is gone forever. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not being hysterical. I'm just explaining the facts. Trump is our last chance to turn it all around. It's Trump, or it's the end of America. Because if Trump doesn't win, <clears throat> no other Republican will ever again be elected president. President Hillary Clinton will make sure of that. Hillary will open the borders like never before to let in millions of illegal aliens who have no love for anything that made America great. They're foreigners by definition, and foreigners have no love for America or capitalism or the ideas of military and police. By definition, foreigners are, in fact, foreign. Foreigners who come here illegally are generally poor, uneducated, don't speak the language, have no skills, and they are desperate. They need government to survive, and that makes them ideal Democratic voters. Hillary knows that. Illegals no longer come here out of a love for America. They come here for a love of welfare, food stamps, housing allowances, free medical, free education, free meals at school, free English as second language classes, and don't forget $3,000 welfare payments uh, disguised as earned income tax credits for people who never pay taxes in the first place. Foreigners come here for the cradle-to-grave welfare state that America has become. 80% of them or higher will vote Democrat forevermore to keep the checks coming. That's a fact, and that's Hillary's plan. Don't believe me? See California. No Republican will ever again be elected to statewide office. That was the exact formula that destroyed California. Open the borders, let in millions of foreigners, make them dependent on government welfare checks, train them to vote Democrat to keep the checks and the handouts coming, and it worked. That was the experiment. Call it Plan A. Now Democrats are on to Plan B. This new plan is to flood the country with illegals and foreigners who don't share our values or love of America, and then turn the whole America into California. Hillary will open the borders and tie the hands of border agents in order to flood the country with millions of new illegals. Hillary will legalize the 12 to 15 million or so already here and give them the right to vote. Hillary will allow those 12 to 15 million illegals to quickly and easily bring in millions of their relatives and friends. Hillary will also enthusiastically import millions of Muslim refugees, all of whom need instant welfare and food stamps, none of whom speak our language, none of whom believe in American exceptionalism or our constitution or Judeo-Christian values. She estimates the cost at 400 billion. You could almost multiply by 10 with democratic welfare plans historically. So the real cost will be 4 trillion on top of the current 20 trillion in national debt. And then it's over for America. In four years, we'll be California-cated. Republicans will never win a popular vote for president again. We're outvoted. Donald Trump is our last chance to ever again elect a Republican president. It's Donald Trump or it's the end of the GOP on the national level and the end of America. So don't even think of staying home or taking a vacation or registering a protest vote with Gary Johnson or Evan McMullen. Who? <laughs> don't even think of staying home because you're a Christian and Trump is not your cup of tea. Think of the Supreme Court. The next president will brand it for the next 50 years and then America's gone. Think of open borders. Think of millions of Muslim refugees imported by Hillary to replicate the crime, terrorism, and rape epidemic of Western Europe. Think of your children's future. Think of the future of your unborn grandchildren. Think of your job. Think of your middle-class life. Think of Obamacare expanded to single payer like bankrupt Europe. Think of capitalism, American exceptionalism, Judeo-Christian values gone forever. 
Think of this as the last time you can ever elect a Republican for president and then vote like you've never voted before. Vote for Trump like it's Trump or the end of America, because it is. I'm Wayne Alaroot for Root for America. God bless America and God bless Donald Trump on Tuesday, November 8th.